Styling for Crave Online, and we're here at Comic-Con 2013. Now, it used to be a small comic book convention, but it's now grown to encompass so many things, like TV, movies, and some of the biggest video games out there. We had the chance to talk to some people who have been here ever since the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and some relative newcomers to the game. So let's check it out and get a little taste of the history of Comic-Con. I've been associated with the Comic Con since 1976. I've been uh, coming here since it was in the El Cortez Hotel. I've been doing different artistic projects uh, for the con uh, off and on during that entire time. Back in the days at the El Cortez Hotel, you could uh, actually uh, take it all in in one day and you would, could always rely on meeting the people that you wanted to meet and uh, getting to all the places you wanted to get to and uh, it was very manageable back then but now I don't know I don't even know what goes on at the other end of the hall. <laughs> In the past, the focus was more towards comic books and comic books exclusively. I've been doing this for about 25 years. There's some advantages and disadvantages to how it works now. How it works now is there's all these publishing companies and large companies like Warner Brothers and, and DC Properties and so on that have really taken over. A lot of the movies and television shows, they encourage all of these people, all these 150,000 people to come and check us out. And that could be a good thing. The disadvantage, however, can be they're here to just get freebies and not really here so much focused on the comic books. But an advantage to it can be seen as they get introduced to this comic book world and they get excited and then they get involved and we have new customers and we have new collectors and we have new investment people. So that's great. What the big change is, maybe about 20 years ago when Hollywood discovered comic books as a source of movies, and so they've kind of moved in in a big way and uh, I think that's is what's caused the numbers, the attendees to go up and uh, there's a national and international interest in the con which uh, wasn't really there before and uh, it's, all, it's all Hollywood, what can I say? How is it like being so close to all the video game booths and vendors? It's fine. Um, they don't really interfere with us and we don't interfere with them. They pull a lot of people down to this end of the hall, so yeah, it works fine. So, well, the disadvantage of being so close to the video game booths is the video game booths get all of the attention and all the people get mesmerized by all of the video technology and lights and things. And then they're not so much focused on the comic book world and that can be a real disadvantage to us. But again, it can be helpful because the video game has this crossover market where you have the comic book collectors that learn about video games and video game heads that learn more about comic books. And it's more of a synergistic relationship now, so that can be good. It all depends on your perspective and how you see it. I think it's healthy. How do you feel that having all of the video game industry booths together in one spot has changed things for this Comic-Con? There's two new systems launching this holiday season. We have the first public hands-on for our PlayStation 4. People are looking for this, and it's all in one spot. I think it's, it's really easy. If you're coming to Comic-Con and you want to check out the hottest in gaming, uh, for everything to be in the, in the same location. People just seem super amped. I, I feel like it's, you know, we have our thing going on with the gaming industry, but there's always these big movies and TV. It's, it's just an exciting event. What is your favorite aspect of Comic-Con? Going home. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of work. It's five days of constant work. So yeah, it's, when it's over, it's great. <laughs> but it's worth it, right? Oh yeah, it's worth it. We enjoy it, we love people, so if we didn't, we wouldn't be here. It's an unbelievable experience. I mean, if you've never been here, you gotta come and check it out. It's a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity.